On March 5, 1982, the Soviet Union's Venera 14 lander successfully made a controlled landing on the tumultuous surface of our neighboring planet, Venus. Although it operated for just 57 minutes before succumbing to the harsh Venusian environment, during this brief time, it managed to capture a stunning panoramic photograph featuring the scorched landscape. Remarkably, over four decades later, this photograph remains one of the finest images we possess from the surface of Venus. Join us on Cosmic Discovery and embark on a cosmic journey like no other. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more mind-blowing space discoveries and fascinating explorations. The Venera program was a series of space probes launched by the Soviet Union during the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. Its primary mission was to study the enigmatic environment of Venus, but it also aimed to return the first ever close-up images from the surface of another planet. Throughout the program, 13 probes successfully reached Venus, transmitting valuable data about our mysterious neighbor. Eight of these landers achieved successful touchdowns, with four managing to capture breathtaking photographs. The reason landing on Venus is such a formidable challenge is due to the extreme conditions below its thick, toxic cloud cover. The planet experiences intense temperatures and pressures. Venus is, in fact, the hottest planet in our solar system, with surface temperatures reaching approximately 475 degrees Celsius, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. To put this into perspective, it's over seven times hotter than the highest air temperature ever recorded on Earth, hot enough to melt lead. Furthermore, beneath the crushing clouds, Venus's surface experiences atmospheric pressures more than 90 times that of Earth, equivalent to the pressure found over 914 meters, around 3,000 feet, below the ocean's surface. These extreme conditions make it exceedingly challenging for spacecraft to explore Venus's daunting landscape. However, the Venera landers were engineered to endure these harsh conditions long enough to collect vital data and provide humanity with a first glimpse of the Venusian surface. The key question is, how can one capture photographs in such a forbidding environment? Given the known conditions, it was clear that placing a camera outside the protective lander would result in its destruction due to the extreme temperature and pressure. Therefore, engineers ingeniously placed a telephotometer inside the lander, which utilized a special porthole. Light from the surface would pass through a periscope, which then directed it to the protected camera inside. The first mission to employ this technology was Venera 9, which was launched on June 8, 1975. While the probe successfully landed, only one of the lens caps of its two cameras separated as planned. Consequently, what was meant to be a 360-degree panoramic photograph around the lander became a 180-degree image. Nevertheless, it provided us with our inaugural view of the scorched Venusian landscape. The photograph shows a white object at the bottom, which is part of the lander, and a somewhat distorted view due to the aging Venera imaging system. The image features angular rocks, many partially buried in soil, with a mysterious horizon visible in the upper corners. Following the path of Venera 9, Venera 10 reached the surface on October 25, 1975. Unfortunately, similar to its predecessor, only one of the lens caps separated correctly, yielding a 180-degree panoramic photo. The lighting in the photograph was akin to an overcast summer day on Earth. According to scientists, the objects at the bottom are parts of the spacecraft, and the ground appears to be covered in flat rock slabs resembling volcanic terrain found on Earth. In December 1978, Venera 11 and Venera 12 successfully landed on Venus, collecting data for over an hour and aiming to capture the first color images of the surface. Regrettably, both missions experienced the same lens cap issue, with both cameras failing to separate, preventing them from taking any photographs. Subsequent to these disappointing lens cap malfunctions, engineers made significant design changes to Venera 13 and Venera 14. 
these two probes stand as the only missions that have transmitted color photographs of the veiled Venusian landscape. Venera 13 landed on Venus on March 1, 1982. Upon reaching the surface, the lens caps successfully ejected, allowing the cameras to commence capturing a color panoramic photo around the lander. The probe survived for 127 minutes before ceasing communication, providing ample time to capture the colorful yet peculiar landscape. The image displayed dark layered rocks and fine-grained soil filling the gaps, with the ejected lens cap visible in front of the lander and distant rolling ridges in the corners of the photos. Just four days later, on March 5, 1982, Venera 14 achieved a successful landing in a different region of Venus. Like its twin, the lens cap successfully ejected, affording us an extended glimpse of this challenging terrain. However, in this instance, the ground appeared more fractured, with less of the grain-like soil material seen in the images from Venera 13. Once again, the ejected lens cap was visible, and the hazy horizon was discernible in the distance. Each of these remarkable photographs offered a small window into a world veiled by such thick clouds that its surface remained a mystery until the first lander arrived. They unveiled a landscape dominated by flat, dark, layered rocks and fine-grained soil-like material filling the gaps set against a yellow sky, creating an alien yet strangely familiar scene. Regrettably, both missions experienced the same lens cap issue, with both cameras failing to separate, preventing them from taking any photographs. Subsequent to these disappointing lens cap malfunctions, engineers made significant design changes to Venera 13 and Venera 14. These two probes stand as the only missions that have transmitted color photographs of the veiled Venusian landscape. Venera 13 landed on Venus on March 1, 1982. Upon reaching the surface, the lens caps successfully ejected, allowing the cameras to commence capturing a color panoramic photo around the lander. The probe survived for 127 minutes before ceasing communication, providing ample time to capture the colorful yet peculiar landscape. The image displayed dark layered rocks and fine-grained soil filling the gaps with the ejected lens cap visible in front of the lander and distant rolling ridges in the corners of the photos. Just four days later, on March 5, 1982, Venera 14 achieved a successful landing in a different region of Venus. Like its twin, the lens cap successfully ejected, affording us an extended glimpse of this challenging terrain. However, in this instance, the ground appeared more fractured, with less of the grain-like soil material seen in the images from Venera 13. Once again, the ejected lens cap was visible, and the hazy horizon was discernible in the distance. Each of these remarkable photographs offered a small window into a world veiled by such thick clouds that its surface remained a mystery until the first lander. To learn more about upcoming missions to Venus, check out our video where we delve into the Da Vinci Plus mission and other exciting missions bound for Venus. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.